Good afternoon, folks. Hope y'all doing well out there today. Look, we're going to do some bongos today, some bongo demos. I got three sets of bongos. I did a little Facebook Live with them earlier, but now I'm going to do them with a little bit better recording gear. I still don't have this recording stuff down. This is just a Zoom. It's just an AKG, the little two Zoom condenser mic there. So uh, it gets a much better sound than my phone, uh, but not like what you would get with a real nice setup. But anyway, let's take a look at what we got here. These are some Moperks. These are called the Bongo Cero model. I've only seen one in my entire life. Uh, they're cylindrical drums made out of Canadian maple, very, very hard, heavy wood, uh, stainless steel hardware. Uh, it's got a nice little uh, uh, indentation there where it's carved out, so it's a little bit thinner there than on the ends. Uh, these are cylindrical, meaning that they are just straight up and down. There is no coning of the, of the drum at all. And uh, the drum sizes are about six and three quarters and about eight and, eight and a quarter, maybe a little bit more than eight and a quarter. Very, very nice drums, very, very nice skins. The second drum we're going to demo today is this beautiful uh, uh, Manana made in, in Budapest, Hungary, by none other than Jekyll Mete. He spent a lot of time studying Vergadas um, and has a very similar shape to a Vergada. He does some really unique things with the insides of the shell in terms of the thickness of the wood from top to bottom. He puts a, a uh, um, puts a, um, Alma in the macho, and uh, these are also stainless steel hardware. This is about six and three quarters, right about eight over here. Made out of EBR wood again. This is called sometimes um, red zebra wood. It's from West Africa. It's a very dense, heavy wood. He states very hard to work with. And so this is probably one of the last pairs that will be made out of this wood. I think uh, another uh, foreign member uh, over the percussion group, Keith Adarshan, got the other one, the Kether. And these have uh, riveted on um, uh, used down here to hold the lugs and everything. Very nice, very well made, one man operation. And then uh, the last one over here is some Caribbean rhythm bongos. These were uh, um, solid shell drums from Santo Domingo, made out of cooba, which is better known in, in scientific terms as, as small leaf mahogany. There's the Caribbean version, and some parts of Florida have the, the uh, small leaf, and then the Honduran and the South American uh, jungle version is usually called big leaf. It's both beautiful woods. Uh, this is solid shell carved out. The hardware was uh, uh, custom made by Manito and it's got Manito skins on it. So we're gonna go ahead and demo these up real quick. I'm gonna move the mic down, try to get the best sound I can. I'll play them, uh, riff on them a little bit, and then I'll play some music and riff on it a little bit. You can check it out. This ain't for playing, bro. It's just to hear the, hear the drum. So the, you like them, you like them, you don't like them, it's fine with me, but these are beautiful drums. I really like them. Uh, it's been a lot of fun in retirement uh, this last year, being able to, to spend my money and time on things I like, uh, other than working all day long. You know, education wasn't easy, bro. Well, not an easy career. Uh, and especially Urban Ed, Woo, some of these kids, man. Woo -hoo! Let me tell you. Anyway, right, let's take a listen to these drums. These are the, the Caribbean rhythms, uh, caoba, solid shell. Manito skin is a very thin skin over here, very dry, and then a little bit thicker over here on the uh, uh, on the uh, embra. small machos very heavy and these are conical and the skins are a bit thicker uh, on the uh, macho than the other two shells and made in the tradition of the great Vegada uh, bongos from Cuba, the solid shell Vegada. These are a really nice fit 
They're kind of uh, narrow, so you're short like me with short little legs, and they fit really, really well, and they feel good. Uh, not They're heavy, but not super heavy, not too heavy. So there you have it. Let's take a look at a little bit of compas segundo uh, and some of the viejo sones de Santiago. Nice little tight, compact screamers, these Eviata drums, very nice. 